television as you've never seen it. All right, uh, my first guest tonight is a former member of the comedy troupe Kids in the Hall. Currently, he's one of the stars of the Larry Sanders Show on HBO. He's a dynamic performer and a beautiful, beautiful man. Please welcome Scott Thompson. Thank you, yeah. This is, uh, this is new. This, this is, is the new look. This is the new butch me for 97. <laughs> this is going to be all about facial hair and wrestling bears and chasing <laughs> moose. And then when you catch the moose, I don't know what you do with them, but the idea is the chase. Yeah. It's not right, catching right. the moose, this it's the chase. This looks very cool, though. I like Thank it. Thank you, yeah. It's, you know, uh, that, was, that was one of the best-selling dolls, new butch me. New butch me, yeah. <laughs> I got the doll. Yeah. So they put a lot of earrings on. That kind of took it down. Uh -huh. But the Prince Albert, I thought, was a nice touch. Very, very nice. Oh, good lord. Uh, so happy new year to you, Scott. Thank you. Yeah, um, yeah you know, it's h hard for me. I'm a little, as you can tell, I'm a little bit withdrawn right now. Yeah. I'm feeling a little bit because I'm, I'm a little upset because I, I left Toronto today. Uh huh. And uh, I, I forgot to feed my cat. I forgot to put food oh, out for that's, that's bad. That's... So I'm here for a couple of days and I don't know what to do. So I was wondering if I could use the airwaves. Sure. To appeal to my brother to feed the cat. Sure, that, that's okay, Derek. Um, I, I wish you. I would like you right now to go over to Josh's place. You know where he lives in the East End. I don't remember the exact uh, address, but it's that big house with the brown door and and the mailbox. And there's a key to my place in it. I want you to take the key, go over and feed Jimmy because, Derek, you're my favorite brother and. Uh, he is your cat, and uh, I don't want to start 97 with a dead cat. Do you know what I mean? That's would be a, that was a nice thing you just did. Thank and you. And you just told... Uh, <laughs> that was nice. nice. And you just told probably 80 million people where the key to your house is. Because it's the only brown house in Toronto. <laughs> yeah. There is only one, you know. Only one brown house, uh -huh. yeah. Well, now, what, you, do you, what do you usually do on New Year's? What, what for you is the, is the real New Year's experience? Well, um, you know, most of the year, as you know, I'm... I'm uh, uh, very, what's the word? I can't be, I can't be categorized. Mm -hmm. But on New Year's Eve, I'm very gay. And, uh, <laughs> just New Year's Eve, one day a year. Uh -huh. So at, at the stroke of midnight, it's traditional all over this great globe of ours mm -hmm. for gay men at the stroke of midnight to launch into the Charleston. <laughs> so... Is that so? Oh, it's, it's, it's been uh, around, and you know, know what's that. funny? It's been around since before the 20s. <laughs> Before Which there is, was actually a Charleston to speak oh, it's of. Pretty, I think they're going to do an X-Files about it. It's that fascinating. <laughs> no one knows where it came from or whatever. And some people think it was begun with the Mayans. <laughs> and that it's actually in the Mayan calendar. This is incredible stuff. Yeah. This is really amazing. So that's what I do. And, uh -huh. so, and the funny thing is, and once you start the Charleston, you can't stop. And you know, have you ever done the Charleston? No, I, I it, never it's just, have. It's too much fun. You just Real, can't stop. I, it's like sex. You know what I mean? I have no problem stopping. <laughs> you know, it's, it's just, I'm good for 25 seconds. <laughs> the whole thing is over. Ah, what a nice show we have here. So, so that's basically what I've been doing, yeah. Now, I understand you're an activist now, is that correct? Oh, yeah, you see, I, I've been living in Los Angeles now, and I, I have a lot of free time because, uh, well, I don't do a lot on the show, so I, I and I've been getting involved in activism, mm -hmm. you know. Um, What's your cause, I mean? Well, it's, uh, it's, a ca it's called uh, APETA. It's people against PETA. <laughs> the, you know I mean? Wait, the... Well, it started when I saw, I saw Ed Bagley in an electric car with a fake fur coat, and I thought, that is not for me. <laughs> <laughs> I come from a land of people who kill animals for fur and pie. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I, I have we to, bash I... seals for fur, and I just... I have to interrupt. It's almost time. Is it really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this true? Yeah. We're almost time? Okay, this is exciting. I'm sorry to do this, Scott. I'm really oh. sorry, but it's almost New Year's for all our viewers in the Central Time Zone and American Samoa. And so what we're going to do is a special New Year's countdown just for those people. Is this, uh, are you okay with this? This is pretty exciting. Yeah, are you all ready? Okay, all right. We're going to go, what's, what, what, how long? We got one minute. Nice wow. going, Andy. Oh. I got the 60, 59, 58, 57. Wait a minute. Oh, it's my fault. Andy just screwed up so incredibly. I don't know what we're going to do here. Well, finish your story. But 
You kill animals for food Come on, and you have to tell a story. I was telling a Tommy Jesus. story about bashing baby seals for hats and pie. And, <laughs> and then I was, oh, God, I got to interrupt. <laughs> it's almost time. <laughs> Wait a minute, are you sure? This is, uh, this was, I was excited uh, 30 seconds ago, but then it peaked, and now I'm not. How much time now? Oh, 10! Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Happy New Revolution is underway. All right, everybody, we're back. Here with Scott Thompson. Scott, uh, you were in the you were uh, in the midst of telling us about your 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 My activism. activism yeah. yeah. So what we've done is we've t we've taken uh, some. We're trying to bring help the fur trade. So we t we're selling photos of rabbits in eye makeup <laughs> to people. Oh, what? Yeah, well, it's just to, because if, and think about it, these rabbits, if they hadn't had the makeup tested on rabbits before, it would irritate their eyes. <laughs> so I'd like so to this possibly is, show some of the photos. You have some of these photos we're with you. We're auctioning them off to raise money for the fur trade, yes. Okay, uh, this is uh, gonna go over real well with this, people. What's this? This is a, a rabbit wearing some, make, some makeup <laughs> that was tested on rabbits. His uh -huh. mother, actually. Oh, oh. And you can see how beautiful it is, and you see. He's this, very pretty, yeah. He is, she. Oh, sorry. And she's wearing green contacts, which oh. I think is very nice. Okay. And it's nice because she has an astigmatism, but they worked it out. So, Tell oh, us this, what this one is. This is a lovely rabbit, too. This is a boy rabbit, which is odd. But he is wearing a lot of eye makeup, too, that was tested on guinea pigs, actually, but it oh. works for him. Okay. But he's wearing a rabbit coat, oh. which I think is nice. He seems to enjoy it. Yes. Okay. <laughs> What's the next one? Well, you know, <laughs> Americans only respond to celebrities. Uh -huh. So we decided to dress this little uh, number up as Jennifer Aniston from Friends. Very nice. <laughs> And Very this one's nice. going for ten thousand dollars. This one. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, that's a, you're doing good work. You must, I'm doing good work. Yeah. yeah. You know what I wanted to ask you about? Uh, you met one of the legendary figures in show business. I did. You met. Tell us. Oh, oh, Don Rickles, of course. Yeah. Yes. No, I wasn't talking about me. I was talking oh, about Don Rickles. Obviously, you two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Wow. I, I met the big three then. <laughs> uh, <laughs> nice save. Yeah. yeah. And right. uh, uh, so yeah, I met Don Rickles, and the best thing about Don Rickles was the scene was him insulting me. And so I kept trying to get him to this like. This you know, was a scene for the Larry Sanders in the Larry show. Sanders show, and he's supposed to insult me. And I kept trying to get him to like, you know, fag bash me, right? Because I haven't been fag bash in a long time. And uh, <laughs> he wouldn't. And I, I called myself a fag. And Don Rickles said to me, "No, you're gay." <laughs> what? And he corrected he's me. He's the politically correct Don Rickles now. He didn't Don want Rickles me to now. call myself a fag. He thought that it demeaned me. Wow. And uh, so is that his act now? He goes I'm around just and, and, say, and just know, no, he like called me a. You know what I mean? Or, a or nothing. It's unbelievable. And it was funny was that he made these. He was mocking me with these insults that made no sense. Huh? Is it, which one was it? Or I repeat them. So, and and I was like, and Don, he kept his insult was he says to me, and I laugh because it was you know the cadence that he says it. He goes, when you came out of your mother's womb, you came out sideways and hit the wall. <laughs> And I laughed hysterically, <laughs> and I still to this day don't understand what that meant. <laughs> what did he mean by that? I'm sure it has a lot of meaning. I'm sure, It's just you know. easier to call someone a fruit. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? 
Yes. <laughs> or uh, Nelly. Uh, yeah, yeah. Or, Nancy. Nancy. or a little light in the loafers. Something yeah. like that. Loafers. Oh, yeah. that's offensive, Conan. <laughs> light in the loafers. <laughs> Leave it to Conan to go yeah. too far. <laughs> I can't win. Yeah, all right. Well, you know, we can't thank you enough for coming by well, and thank you. offending yourself that way. Best of luck with your uh, activism. And, and my new butch image. And the new butch image, well, which actually, is going over this really is well. A, this is for a role, but the role hasn't been written yet. But I believe in, you know, doing I flush the toilet before I get on it. Do you know what I mean? I'm that kind of a guy. So write the role. What a, what a beautiful image. All right, thank you. Scott Thompson. Shannon, Bare Naked Ladies coming up. We'll be right back.